Let's take a look at divisibility rules. You might wonder what that word divisibility means. It means this, that after dividing, there will be no remainders. The divisor can evenly divide into the dividend. So for instance, 5 is not divisible by 2 because there is a remainder. However, 5 is divisible by 5 because it divides evenly. There's no remainder. Just as 20 is also divisible by 5 and then even also by um, things like 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10. And then so we're going to look at the divisibility rules for 2, for 3, for 5, and for 10 as well. We'll even look at it for 9. We have this number here in the box, 6,821. Just by looking at this number, can you know whether it's divisible by 2? Some of you might be all, yeah, 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 I know that it is not. Do you know if it's divisible by 5 or not? The answer to that is no. It's going to have to end with a 0 or a 5. And then so we're going to learn about these divisibility rules. And then we have divisibility rules by 3, by 9, and even by 6. I know that we don't talk about 6, but I borrowed this PowerPoint from somewhere else and they still had 6 on there. To be divisible by 6, you'd have to be divisible by 2 and by 3. Those divisibility rules can help you write those yeses and nos pretty quickly. Read with me. Divisibility rules help you learn shortcuts to tell when a number can be divided by another number without any remainders. That's the key, without any remainders. That's why it's divisible by. Here's your divisibility by 2 rule. A number is divisible by 2 if the number is even. If the number is even. If the digit in the ones place, and so if we look at the digit, if with the digit in the ones place is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, it is an even number. It is an even number, so it would be divisible by 2. So our examples over here, 18 is divisible by 2, because 18 divided by 2 is 9. And 22 is divisible by 2 because 22 divided by 2 is 11. 18 and 22 are both even numbers. Here it shows you 21, which is not an even number. If we divided it by 2, they, there would be a remainder. And remember, for our divisibility rules, there cannot be a remainder. 21 is not an even number. And if you look at what I've written here, 1 here, hey, it doesn't end with a 0, a 2, a 4, a 6, or an 8. Whereas these numbers right here did. Our earlier number, I think, was 6,471. 6, and in that case, that ended with a 1. In the, we looked at the 1's place, and that's not one of those numbers. It's not an even number. I have three numbers here, and I want you to answer yes or no, whether they are divisible by 2. Look at this first number right here, 376. Is it divisible by 2? Yes, it is. It's an even number. It ends with a 6 here. How about this next number? Is it divisible by 2? Nope, it's not. And that final number? Yes, it is. Again, a number is even if it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And it would be th thus divisible by 2. We look at that 1's place there. Here's our divisibility by 5 rule. A number is divisible by 5 if it ends with 0 or 5. So these numbers here, 25, is divisible by 5 because 25 divided by 5 equals 5, and it ended with a 5 in the ones place. So for instance, 802 is not, whereas 800 is. Also, I could write 805 even. Remember, that ends with the 5. So if I looked at something like 7,832, that would be no. But if I was to look at 8,900, the answer to that is yes, because it ended with a 0 in that 1's place. So it's divisible by 5, and thus the divisibility by 5 rule. 
Point at the number that is not divisible by 5. <laughs> Only one. The other ones end with a 5 or a 0, so they are both divisible by 5. Here we go, divisibility by 10. A number is divisible by 10 if it ends in a 0. So, out of these numbers, we have 30 ending with a 0, so it is divisible by 10. Again, there is no remainder when it is divisible by that number there. Um, whereas if we had a number like 784, where there's a remainder now, then we say 784 is not divisible by 10. Is not. And we knew that right away already because it ended with a 4, which was not a 0. 800 is divisible by 10 because it ends, it has, ends with a 0. It has a 0 in the 1's place. All right, let's go ahead and fill in this table and fill in this chart. 1,825. Is it divisible by 2? Nope. Ends with a 5. Ends with a 5, so is it divisible by 5? Yes. The 1's place here, 1,825, is it divisible by 10? No. For 346, we would write... Yes, it is an even number. Is it divisible by 5? No. Is it divisible by 10? No. I want you on your next line to go ahead and write this number, 510, and write me the yes, no, yes or no for each and every single one of those. Do the same thing for this here. What you could do is you can go ahead and make a table and a chart. Do it, please. Hit pause. Did you come up with these answers here? Did you come up with yes, yes, yes? Did you come up with yes, and then no, and then no? Again, you were concentrating on the ones place of each of those numbers. 8 is divisible by 2, so 1,108 is divisible by 2. Um, 1,108 ends with an 8, and then if we were looking at divisible by 5, it does not end with a 0 or a um, 5, so it's not divisible by 5. That's why we read a no there. All right. You might want to pause the video for a second here to go ahead and read this very carefully to yourself. This is a big, important rule. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So, for instance, if we had 81 and we were looking at it, instead of figuring out what 81 divided by 3 is, we can take each of those digits and the sum of those digits. We can take 8 and we can add it together with 1 to get 9. And the sum of the digits then, 9, hey, 9 is divisible by 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3, so therefore 81 is also divisible by 3. As I continue to look here at the slide, it says, is the number 135 divisible by 3? They add the digits as well, just as I had done, except this time there's three digits to add together. They added together 1 plus 3 plus 5, which equals 9, and 9 is divisible by 3, so 135 is also divisible by 3. In fact, if I did the 135 divided by 3 here, I would have gotten this as my answer, 45. Now, isn't that much easier just to add those digits, though, if my question was, hey, is it divisible by 3? These divisibility rules will help you later on as we continue to work with math, and especially as we continue to work with fractions. Here is the divisibility by 9 rule. It works very similarly to the divisibility by 3 rule. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits, again, is divisible by 9. So we have 369 that is divisible by 9 because 3 plus 6 plus 9 equals 18. 
and then we know that 18 is divisible by, th by 9 already, because 18 divided by 9 is 2. We know that fact. So we wouldn't even have to do that rest. So that means that um, 369 is divisible by 9. What if... All right, you go ahead and copy all these down and use adding the digits approach and see if it's divisible by 3 and divisible by 9 for each and every single one of those. You can go ahead and write out um, yes or no. I do not want to see 121 divided by 3, blah, 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 blah. You're using that strategy and that approach that we just talked about on the previous couple of slides. Add up those digits and see if they're divisible by 3 or if they're divisible by 9. And then write that yes or no. Hit pause, please. All right, for that first one there, I have 121, where I would add those three digits together, the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 4. 4 is not divisible by 3, so 121 is not divisible by 3. 4 divided by 3 is 1, remainder 1, that's not divisible by. 324, I would take 3 plus 2 plus 4, which equals 9. So not only is this number divisible by 3, it would also be divisible by 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And so at that point, we're all, oh, 324 is divisible by 3. Divisibility by 9 is much the same way. We add those digits together. 8 plus 7 plus 3, 15 plus 3 is 18. And as before, we know that 18 is divisible by 9, because 18 divided by 9 is 2. It goes in there evenly. So 873 is also divisible by 9. 2 plus 0 plus 1 is 3. Oops, 3 is not divisible by 9. So our answer to 201 here, is it divisible by 9? No, it is not. It is divisible by 3, but that's not what the question is asking. It's asking if it's divisible by 9. 3 divided by 9 would be 0 with the remainder of 3. Those are your divisibility rules. We had divisibility rules of 2 where we were looking at even numbers, numbers that ended with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. We had the divisibility rules of 3 and 9 where it is that we were adding up those digits and then we were dividing, see if it was divisible by 3 or divisible by 9. And then we also had those rules for 5 and also for um, 10 as well, where it is that the digits had to end with a 0 or a 5, and the, for divisibility by 10, it had to end with a 0. All of these things here are really, really going to help you as we continue forward. And then so if we're looking for factors, these divisibility rules help you. If we're looking if it's prime or composite, these divisibility rules help you. And then so really, really think about what it is that you've just learned today and continue to apply it as we continue to go forward. Oh, just wanted to go ahead and give some credit to where credit is due. I picked this up from um, the web and I modified it to fit our own class. And that's why I wrote modified down here, and these are my credits. And in a way, this is my bibliography of my presentation or my resources and my references.